Victoria's gorgeous Belfry Theatre has been around for almost 50 years now, tucked away in Fernwood. For years, they've brought us play after play, but then the pandemic hit. Veronica Cooper shows us how their storytelling legacy is continuing. I, I've learned how to deal with stress. A feeling many of us can relate to since COVID-19 arrived mid-March. My primary concern at that point was dealing with the artists that we already had on contract and the artists who were about to arrive and all of the staff in the building. We paid our artists, we paid the artists who were about to arrive because they had already made plans to be here. We will be announcing our season soon. Which is and we managed to keep most of the staff on throughout all of this time, thanks to the government support and the support of our donors, our ticket buyers who, who donated tickets back to us. And the Victoria Foundation has helped too. Victoria Foundation has been great, and, and their donor-directed funds have been really important and critical to us. From the moment that COVID-19 hit, um, our audiences have been remarkable, and the outpouring of love and affection and concern for the Belfry has been, been amazing. And while audiences can't gather at the theatre, to keep that vital connection going, the Belfry has moved online. The theatre is about gathering, it's about telling stories. So it's really been focusing on how do we continue to tell the stories, Given that we can't actually physically gather, how do we gather virtually? The fall is a series of, of online programming that we're doing, and then we have a series of play readings that we'll be doing as well. All of the fall programming is free. If they would rather die, they should go ahead and do it. Decrease the surplus population. At Christmas time, we'll actually be doing a full cast play reading of A, a Christmas Carol. And everything ready, Mrs. Fezziwig. Don't you start that nonsense. So that'll be exciting, and that's a lot of artists who are, who are getting at least a little bit of work. Uh, just watch me, lads. Oh, oh, let me go, you great fool! In the spring, the Belfry will sell subscriptions to three plays it will produce, but that's not the same as individual sales. Right now, if a couple buy a subscription, those are two subscriptions, but right now it'll be a household. So uh, we'll see how that goes. We are hoping to have very limited in-person attendance and we've developed a, a method of how we want to screen those plays in terms of how we film them. What's important to us is moving forward with programming, re-engaging with our audiences and kind of being able to tell those stories that we think are important to be told at this time. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.